You might want to answer that. It's Kyle. Whoa. Hi. Are you still catching a movie when you get off work? For sure. Super Agent the Owl by day. Super half of Mikhail by night. <laughs> Mikhail, I like that. All right, let's focus, shall we? <sighs> the owl seems more cranky tonight. I agree. She is kind of extra wiggy. But, I mean, it's a big night for her. It's her first assignment in charge as the owl. Uh, guys, we can still hear you. I thought you muted. Sorry, wrong button. <laughs> um, moving on. Cam, Ember. I never congratulated you guys on getting into the Destination Mars Camp during summer break. You gotta be psyched. Super psyched. Four straight days right here at Space Inc. Simulating a future space station journey and eventual colonization on Mars. I haven't been this excited since I cross-pollinated our wheat crops and doubled its yield. Take that, GMOs. You guys, we have an unidentified figure entering the building. All right, this could be it. Remember the plan. When our uninvited guest enters the East Corridor, we surround him and move in. Wait for my command. Affirmative. We're with you, Al. You heard the quail. It's critical to the mission we capture the intruder. I've got him on infrared as well. What I can tell you is whoever it is, they're sweating. In this case, it's likely due to nerves, which makes sense because they're about to go to jail. <laughs> we lost picture. What? Why? Not sure. Bry's working on it. And we're routing the network paths. They must have timed out. Talk to me. And we're back. We have a visual. The intruder is entering sector three. We move now. But the intruder's not in position. Shouldn't we wait? I agree. Hey, I know I'm new here, but I feel like we should stick with the plan. He could be jamming the signal. We can't afford to lose visual on him again. You heard me. Move in. We have to take him. He's heading for the exit! Go! It's the perfect ecosystem with amazing biodiversity. There's epiphytes and euphorbia and eucalypti. Oh, this is a dream. Nice. Addison? Oh, it's like heaven. <gasps> Wait, have I been recycled? Welcome, agents. To the birding ceremony. For Agent Maddie McAllister. Please step forward. <laughs> Today, our Innovate Sisterhood honors you from all over the world. Agent McAllister, you are being given this coveted award not only for the enormous heroism and sacrifice you showed going deep undercover and risking your life to bring down Craig and Vex for how you encompass all that the women of this organization represent. Intelligence, poise, and strength. From this day forward, you will be known as the Nighthawk. <laughs> Who among you would stand beside the Nighthawk as her witness? Congratulations. Agent Michaela McAllister, will you please step forward? Agent McAllister, you are being given this coveted award 
not only for your unwavering devotion to and faith in your sister and fellow agent, and for risking your life to save hers, but for your wisdom and leadership. You really do define smart is the new cool. <laughs> From this day forward, you will be known as the Owl. <laughs> yes. Who among you will stand beside the Owl as her witness? <laughs> Congratulations. I am so proud of you. <laughs> if I had arms, I'd hug you too, Em! <laughs> Oh, sorry to interrupt. Oh, taste testers! Hurry up and drink this while it's still effervescing and in liquid form. Really think she could help us? Duh. Remember her exploding cream puffs from the science fair? She could whip up anything. I'm calling it Adri's pink drink. Safety first. Careful. I don't want curiosity to kill the can. Hmm. Tastes like chocolate chip cookie dough and a glass of milk. Pass. I just whiten my teeth. It's a secret recipe passed down from my grandma. She's known as the best culinary chemist in Spain. Culinary chemist? That's a thing? Yes, of course it is. Adri, do you want to help us with a top secret investigation? Secret investigation? You mean like, Mission Impossible? Uh, yeah, like Mission Impossible. Oh, I love those movies! When I was little, I used to watch them all the time. I even told my parents I wanted to work for the Centro Nacional de Inteligencia. It's like the CIA in Spain. Know anything about lifting fingerprints? Hmm. $1.5 million, an exorbitant amount of money by any account for a vacation. But for Prince Xander of Canterbury, known throughout social media as the Trillionaire Prince, it's another extreme stunt that has him yet again in the international spotlight. It's totally awesome! As the impending launch looms, the Prince appears ever more carefree about the possible mortal danger. Now's our chance. <sighs> I'm so sorry, I didn't see your petite little feet there. We haven't met! I'm Adrian Adams. Adrian, wanna do lunch sometime? I'm such a foodie. I know all the fanciest places to eat in this town. There's like two, but they're fabulous. again. Can't seem to hold on to my supplies around you. Weird, huh? Ah, uh, that's my pen. Uh, you don't want this pen. It got sticky from the sticky ground. But I like sticky things. Sticky glue, sticky notes, sticky rice, sticky tape, sticky sticks. <laughs> uh, so here, take mine. Um... Okay. Uh, Bri, what's with all the cell zombies? Hmm. Must be my yo Instagram. Stand back, I'm trending. Prince Xander is headed to the small US town of Maywood Glen today for his highly publicized trip to outer space. The latest of the popular British Royals international adventures. <laughs> I can't believe he's coming here tomorrow. I can't believe tomorrow is tomorrow. You think he's got a girlfriend? Duh, he's a royal. He must have a girlfriend in every country. 
I want to be his space princess. Not me. I want to pick his brain about his spacecraft's orbital velocity. Hey, Cam, doesn't your dad work for Space Inc? She can introduce us to the prince. <gasps> Sorry, but Cameron needs like top secret clearance from her dad, so forward slash, let's dash. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Didn't mean to crash into you. Let me help you with that. No, no, thanks, I got her. I mean, um, it. I got it. You're new, right? Uh, yeah. I'm new, brand new. That's what I am, just the new kid. No big deal. So we just made a really bad impression on the transfer student? Go, Go us. us. <laughs> it's okay, really. No broken bones, no chipped teeth, no split ends. I'm fine, perfectly fine. I'm fine too, Michaela. Who said that? Said what? I heard someone cough down the hall. You okay back there? I should probably go check. It wasn't a cough. I heard words. Sounded like it came from your notebook. Oh, oh, that, that was my cell. Hey, girlfriend, what's up? Yeah, let's meet at the mall at some store near another store. Michaela, huh? That girl is definitely I-A-W-A-T-S-T. Yeah, she is interesting and weird at the same time. Yeah. When was the last time I acronymically stumped you? We were five, May would part. I'm wondering if strawberries on the sand cast if you would ask me. Addison, how was that helping me to blend in? You're right, you're right. Notebooks don't talk, they act like notebooks. I promise, as soon as I do the job, you're free to talk your binding off. But in the meantime, wise move. Now let me handle this. The main office. Psst, proceed up the stairs. I can't believe I'm finally taking the ultimate trip. <gasps> As a kid, I always wanted to go to space and battle aliens with laser swords, like that documentary with the astronauts that I saw about the war and the stars. <laughs> My family thinks I'll get into less trouble up there than I will down here. We'll see about that. Nothing, nothing, nothing! Stop it! You're gonna get keyboard forehead again. What's up? You know that Michaela girl? I found out at school that her last name's McAllister. I did a search on every social media site and couldn't find a single D about who she is or where she's from. No way. Nobody can hide from the internet, especially from you. Except for her. It's like she's some kind of ghost. Yeah. Very fashionable ghost. Trucy's. Dad, what are you doing home? Uh, it's okay, Cam. There was some commotion at the office. I just couldn't concentrate. Something's up at Space Inc.? What's wrong? Uh, well, it's probably nothing. But the office received a strange phone call. Some type of anonymous threat against the prince's launch. Who'd want to hurt the prince? He's harmless. And adorbs. <laughs> and entertaining. Which makes him totes adorbs. I know, right? Totes adorbs. But apparently, somebody doesn't agree with you. Attention, Space Inc. Dismantle your plans for the Prince's launch immediately. I'm warning you, there will be devastating consequences for people around the world if Prince Xander's flight is not canceled. That's all I can say. Well, I'm totally creeped out. Well, the office gets crazy messages like this all the time. Everyone just thinks it's a hoax. And you? I'm not so sure. You know, last night, I accidentally left my laptop at the office closed. And this morning, it was open. That's kind of freaky. Yeah, I thought so too. And with this weird phone call message, I'm thinking somebody's trying to get some information about the flight. Hmm. Well, if you want, I could tap into Space Inc. security system and see if anyone's been lurking around there. Uh, it's impossible to break into the cameras. The uh, firewall is... Uh, is I mean... Is... Man, you were good at that. Look, there. Do you know who that is? I can't tell. I mean, it could be a janitor or a security guard. Looks more slender. Maybe the security guard's doing Pilates. Or maybe it's a woman. Hmm. Maybe. I, I better go call security. Thanks, girls. Look at us. We're like expert detectives, right? 
I bet if we do some investigating of our own, we can find that sketchy hacker ourselves. Bet we could. Now think, who in our tiny little town would want to threaten the prince and his mission? Got me. It's like the coolest thing to happen here since Emma Danielson thought Selena Gomez was following her on Instagram, but then found out it was a different Selena Gomez. Ah, but what if the blurry hacker isn't from here? What if it's someone who recently showed up out of nowhere, makes excuses, and carts around an eight by 10 of the prince? Hmm. What an interesting and weird thought at the same time. Isn't this refreshing? Nobody sneaking glances down to their screens. Everybody ready to learn? Uh. Now, you will have to write down your answers to today's quiz on a piece of paper with a pencil. The yellow wooden thingy with the rubber doodad on the end? Yes, Justin. The yellow wooden thingy with the rubber doodad on the end. Kyle. Look, I'm really sorry about before. I just have some things on my mind. It's fine. No big deal. You ever hear the one about the geometry class that was always tired? They were out of shape. She could shape and geometry. Yeah. Commence bugging. Where's that coming from? Class, I think we have a visitor. It's my portable long range acoustic device. I modified the extra ultrasound sensors for my dad's remote control model rocket. Here? It's for Helix the cat's birthday. Gotcha. You made your sister's cat a birthday present? And if you spoil the surprise for him, I'll be awake. Uh, you know, I think it's coming from over there. Hmm? Uh, nope, it's definitely coming from over there. Everyone just focus on your work. Let's see what you're hiding in your man purse, Gruber. Uh, gotcha. What a Tuna with the crust cut off. Happy teaching. Love, mom. Ah, my head's cramping up. Screen. We're back on the grid. Greetings, Maywood Glenians. How you suffer without your precious technology. No texts, no phone calls, no games. Well, cry me a river. <laughs> <laughs> 